to? Are you already looking towards LSU, or are you still on focus on Georgia Tech next week? Um, I'm obviously, you know, we, we have a really tough game next week. Uh, we want to, um, you know, really kind of take this one in. I think this is a special, special night uh, for these seniors and uh, the guys who have put in so much work for this program. Uh, I think it's a special night, and you know, let's let's take this one. Um, you know, let's let's remember it for a little bit, hold on to it, um, and go to work on Georgia Tech tomorrow. Jake, you had a few shots there, I guess, in the first quarter to, to kind of get it off to a better start. Uh, you know what? What was kind of the emotion with watching that pass to George kind of falling complete yeah. and maybe some other of those Yeah, there? tough. I mean, you know, if, if I want to be as good as I want to be, I got to hit those shots. And, uh, you know, um, it was kind of early in the game, you know, still still a little wet, throwing the glove on and uh, new for me. And, you know, we, just, we, we got to have them. We got, we got to hit them and, and be able to capitalize on those. How did the decision to wear the glove come about? Who brought it up to you, and why, why did you decide to go for this game? Uh, we it's, it's something we kind of worked on after the Kentucky game, which was trying to find another answer. Um, and, and I, I honestly, I'm, I really think it's a, it's a good idea when it's when it's raining and it's really wet, you know. But it was kind of that in between. It's like it would drizzle and then it would dry up, and um, you know, I just there's some inconsistencies, you know, with the ball there. And um, you know, for me, I just, just said, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know take it off and let's let's go rip it. Even in high school, did you ever throw with the glove? No, I didn't. It? Didn't play had many rain games in high school. It's been unfortunate. Fortunate season, uh, you know, playing quarterback here. You know, it's just just part of it. Um, and, you know, for me, hey, how can I go out and win a football game for my team? Jake, I think you said you were, thought the offense was pretty close so maybe a couple of few weeks ago. Um, is it something you guys can just kind of switch on, you think, and, and get clicking? I, I wish I wish we could. Uh, I wish we, you know, hopefully we can next week. And uh, we'll go back to the drawing board, you know, go back to practice, and hopefully we get a lot better. Jake, does it seem like you all have played real similar games all year when you think about Notre Dame, yeah. Florida, Auburn, and this one? I, mean, I, I don't think this team shies away from it adversity or, or big time football games. I think that's what we've kind of had the, the knack of, of, of going in and competing, you know, what, whatever it takes, you know, for us, you know, it's going to take what it takes. And uh, for us, it, it, it took, you know, it took what it took, you know, and uh, we went out, we played football and, and really thankful to come out here with a win. I guess a really good football team. What's your first memory of uh, your one game at, at, in Atlanta against Georgia Tech? Uh, in case we don't see you this week. Uh, What's my one memory? What do you remember about that game? Uh, I remember uh, throwing a, uh, a post route to Javon. Um, I remember that doing that my freshman year. And I remember uh, uh, we had a run play kind of break down, and I ended up taking it on a run, and uh, it, it ended up working out for like a 15-yard gain. You know, and any time I run, run, run the ball for 15 yards, it's, it's pretty, pretty memorable. Jake, sorry to ask you this one, but I mean, did you think about this maybe being your last game in Sanford, or is uh, that a decision at the end of the year? Yeah, that's a decision at the end of the year. I hadn't even thought about it. With DeAndre Swift, I mean, it seems like everyone knows he's sort of getting the ball there at the end. He's still able to make the plays that yeah. he is. How much does that, having a guy like that help you on offense? Yeah, I um, mean, he's a, he's a horse. Um, he's a guy who, you know, he, he knows that they're always trying to put that extra hat in the box, and he can go out and he says, hey, I'll, I'll take one guy, I'll make him miss, and um, that's what makes him special, uh, you know, uh, taking on that responsibility in that role and, and going out and making plays. I wanted to ask you about Thanksgiving. you got Thanksgiving coming up before the next time that you mm -hmm. play. What's that like in front of you? Oh, man, uh, I, had, I hadn't been to the uh, From household Thanksgiving um, in, in two years. I uh, miss it a it lot. Like uh, what's it like here? Uh, it's fun. Uh, you get a lot of guys who uh, kind of live far from home. Um, you know, I don't live terribly far, but um, sometimes it's just a little bit easier, you know, staying up here. You get together with your friends, uh, eat some good food, and uh, spend some time in the woods, maybe. With the defense you all have, how much of the approach changes knowing that you know, not turning the ball over then becomes a premium because yep. you may not be able to light up the scoreboard, but if you don't turn the ball over and you score just enough points. Right. I mean, you want to take care of the football. Um, it didn't matter, you know, what kind of defense, you know, we have. Uh, you want to take care of the football on offense, and I, I think our guys do a you know, really good job um, taking care of the football. And, you know, that's what we want to pride ourselves in and, and hopefully score a little more points doing so. Has that become the character, the formula? This offense is rather than the light it up, score 40 uh, may, a know, game maybe, like last year. Maybe, years. but, you know, we, we want to score more points too. How aware are y'all, sorry, Jeff, how aware are y'all of the onside kick attempt? I mean, does Kirby say, hey, get get ready, or does he just do it? Uh, you kind of hear it, uh, you know, from the guys who, who were kind of right there, and they heard, they, they heard the call, and uh, we were – uh, you know, we, we kind of heard it happen, and we were kind of waiting. You know, it, you know, excited. We thought it was going to happen the the one kickoff before, oh, okay. before then. Yeah. Um, so we're like, you know, what the heck happened? Um, but you know, it ended up happening. We're so close, and uh, you know, really wish we had another opportunity. Jake, you were always so close offensively. Is there one thing that you guys could clean up that it seems like predominantly it's on short fields or it's behind the chains or penalties? What's the predominant narrative offensively, like where all the hiccups keep happening? Uh, I think for us right now is winning on early downs. 
you know, uh, you know, I don't think we did quite as good as we wanted to on third down tonight. You know, that that's part of it. But I, I think I really think we're a good third down team. I think we need to do a better job of just winning on first and second down. You know, uh, whether that's communication or uh, kind of getting the ball in space or, or taking shots. You know, I don't I don't know what it is, but I think we need to do a better job of winning on first and second down. What's your feeling on senior day for all those guys? You've bled with those guys. What's yeah. your feeling for all those guys? Uh, it's special. Uh, you know, obviously to, to come in uh, at home, you know, play a really good football team, Texas A&M, and, and kind of finish it up for them, finish it up on a good note. It wasn't the, the prettiest weather, you know, we wanted today, but uh, I think it ended up really well. Uh, I think those guys, um, you know, they, they mean the world of this team. Uh, they put in so much work, you know, over their four years or five years uh, for some of them, and i uh, really thankful to, to have them call them a teammate. Got about two minutes.